You guys may remember fairly recently, I was making videos about this accessory. It's an item made by Roblox called the Cyber Bunny Helmet. Now the reason why I was making videos about this was because it gave you special in-game items when you purchased it. It costs 40 Robux and it gave you stuff in multiple Roblox games, including Arsenal. And it was pretty cool that Roblox was doing this with their limited time only items because normally limited time only stuff didn't really do much. Oh, I should probably say this quickly. A few weeks ago, I had somebody message me on Instagram. They didn't know why it wasn't working for them. Well, it turns out they actually purchased this. Yeah, it has the same name, but this is not the right accessory. Even though it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, the one you want to be buying is the one made by Roblox. I just thought I'd clear that up in case anyone was confused. Anyway, on to the main topic of today's video. It turns out, guys, that there are some UGC items over on the Avatar shop, and if you purchase these and use them inside of the game Arsenal, you also get more free stuff and special items. I just want to say a big shout out to Rainster, who's another British YouTuber. He actually let me know about this. He uploads all types of Arsenal content on his channel. So if you are super interested in this game, then of course go and check out Rainster. And yeah, let's get into this. So overall on the Avatar shop, guys, there is quite a lot of Arsenal related accessories and just a few of them give you special items and abilities. I already made a video a while ago about the Nomad's Shade and the Nomad's Gaze, I guess. That was a free Amazon Prime item. It was very good, actually. The skin from this looked awesome. There's also a few toy code items, but today we're going to be focusing on UGC stuff. So the first one to take a look at looks a little bit funny, but I guess it's kind of cool. It's called the Smug Egg for 50 Robux, so not too expensive. And I've been told, guys, if you go and buy this, then join a game of Arsenal, you get something very cool. And I'm kind of curious to see what we get. Arsenal had like a spring Easter update. They've been doing loads of updates recently, which is very awesome. So yeah, let's go and join the game. I want to see what we got. Oh, here we are. It came up straight away. Congrats. You have earned the Melee Smug egg. This item is now in your inventory. So let's go and claim this. That looks pretty cool, actually. Oh, we also got something else. We got a unusual kit. Is that like an effect? I'm not actually sure what that is, but let's go and claim it. Oh, is it glitched? Claim. There you go. So if we go into the locker, we need to go on our items. We need to go and find it. There it is. There's the egg. What was that kit thing that it said we got? Here we are. Use item kit. Oh, I see. So you can craft it with something else. Oh, I get it. Okay. So I guess I can do it with my retro guy. Should we just go and craft? Off this and see what it does. Congrats, you've now got it. So, okay, let's claim that. I guess I can go and change it. If we go on the gear icon, there we go. Oh, I think that's what I forgot to do uh, last time, wasn't it? With like a banana or something. So if I exit locker and I go on deploy, and if I go and choose a team, I think, guys, this egg's gonna be like near my character or something. No, maybe not, but we definitely got... Oh, it's because it's brick battle, isn't it? Yeah, I need to join a different game. Now, if I press G twice, we should be able to see it. So there you go. There it is. It's a little egg pet, which obviously follows your character around the map. And of course, guys we've got the weapon as well so the smug egg weapon obviously this replaces your knife so yeah that's pretty interesting if you guys want it well buy the ugc it was like what was it 50 robux yeah not too bad and that's not all guys there is also another one now this one is called froggy made by mayteb land and at first i didn't really believe this was real because i didn't know this guy had anything to do with roblox arsenal this character kind of reminds me of like an animal crossing style thing i don't know why it's a bit pixelated though but again guys it's 50 50 Robux. This is a hat accessory, by the way. It's pretty cheap, if I'm being honest. So let's go and buy it. And we can also see what this does. So I don't know why, guys, but this time I didn't get any pop up. However, if I go into my locker, then if I go into the melee weapons, here it is. It's a frog, a really weird looking frog. What the heck is wrong with the icon on this thing? Well, if we go on exit locker and deploy, it should be working. So let me choose green, green for frogs, right? Then if we go and select our knife, here it is. And that is actually kind of cool. I don't know why mine is like completely pitch black. I thought it was supposed to be green. Yeah, I chose green team as well. Oh wait, I just remembered it's because I've got a skin, haven't I? But there you go. If I go into like the um, third person view, you can see it. Maybe if I change my skin, guys, this thing will look a lot cooler. So let's see. If I go on locker, if I just go and change it. I was using coal. Oh, it also gave me the froggo um, texture, weapon texture. I didn't know that. What? Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's go and deploy. That's awesome. Look at my weapon. So let's see. There we are. Okay, yeah, I like this one. I actually think I prefer that than the egg. That's really nice. So you can literally smash windows with a frog if you want to. That's really cool. So the final accessory I wanted to talk about in today's video is this thing, the Starblocks Latte. Now this is kind of interesting, right? Because this is a gear and also guys, you don't need to purchase this. But what we can do, we can actually get this for free inside of Arsenal and it's pretty cool. I think inside of Arsenal, it's called something else. It's not called Starblocks. I think it was called like Stinkbug or something strange. I don't 
don't know, but we're going to find out. So yeah, let's get into the game. So to get this one, guys, I would really recommend using a private server and setting the map as Boulevard. If you don't do this, it's going to be very difficult to get. To be fair, you can get it on public servers, but I guess you have to be lucky. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what you have to do. Pretty much, you have to shoot 16 coffee cups. It's pretty simple, honestly. I'm going to show you guys every single location. And yeah, hopefully you spawn in with a gun which is fairly decent. Assault rifles are definitely the best. And you basically just want to go through the entire map until you find all 16 coffee cups. This one over here is probably the hardest one to get, which is what I'm showing you at the start. I don't know if you can quite see that. You might be able to see it fall down there. But yeah, that one was in the distance. There's another one on the roof there. And yeah, I'll just let you guys watch this gameplay and I will be back when I'm nearly done. So the final one guys is actually here just on the roof and once you find that you just want to go and shoot it. There we are, that should be done. Now we should be able to activate this control panel by holding E. You might start to hear some music and that means it's working. Keep in mind all of those green lights should be turned on. 16 in total obviously. Now this bit I got a bit confused because I couldn't find where the music was coming from. But it turns out guys if you actually go to the counter there's like this hole in the wall. I think I'm just about to walk up to it. So yeah if you go this way you're going to find this sort of like hole in the wall and you pretty much just want to jump down this then you're in the basement of the shop there's like a bank vault so i don't really know what's going on there but if you carry on going around the corner here then you just want to jump up this brick ladder kind of thing anyway yeah you should be able to find it the stink bug latte thing whatever it's called i forgot but once you collect it it's going to do a little cutscene, and that is basically how you get this thing for free it's very very easy so what i can do now guys is go into my locker and i just want to show you it did work so if you go into the melee items then you're going to find it in here just double click on it sippo stink yeah it sounds a bit disgusting actually i don't know why it's called that but if you test it inside of a game the animation is very cool it has a drinking animation i don't know how many accessories have this maybe a few of them do but yeah that's awesome that's the last item i wanted to show you i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like subscribe and yeah i'll see you in the next one